All right, y'all. Y'all seen what happened with Shannon Sharp? Hopefully you did not see what happened with Shannon Sharp. And I'm not going to play nothing. I ain't going to show nothing. I'm just going to talk about it. I actually, I, I am going to play one clip from It Is What It Is podcast with Cameron and Mace. I'm going to play one clip because I completely agree with this clip 1,000%. Cameron accuses Shannon Sharp of staging his live IG video. Let me just say something very clearly. Ain't no way that that was not fabricated, staged, scripted, marketing, publicity, stunt. This man, Shannon Sharp, done took a page out of the Kim K playbook. And this is what happens when you just make content just for the sake of playing the game, just for the sake of accumulating as much resources and money and clout and attention and influence as you pass as, as you possibly can there is no rules there's no rules when you're operating from a, a place of how can i just be the best podcaster how can i be the best youtuber how can i be the best content creator on the internet there's literally no rules so you do whatever it takes to get to the top let me play this video and then let's continue our conversation because I have a lot to say. This is Cameron from It Is What It Is podcast accusing Shannon Sharp of staging his IG live video. I think this whole thing was staged. His, you know what happens after that? You talking about, oh, y'all crashed the site. All my merch sold out. All of a sudden, now all the merch sold out after, or after you on IG live grunting. <laughs> so I told you. <laughs> yeah, man. I think this was a ploy. I think it's a Ponzi scam. But if it worked for you, um, it worked for you. But that's my personal opinion. This was a Ponzi. Me and Church, Big Church was talking about it. All of a sudden, you apologizing, bragging, merch sells out. You're not gay. It, it's too much going on in one Instagram joint for me. It's crazy. Because he even said, Shannon Sharp said, he said, yo, Cat Williams texted me and he said, you ain't gay today. Because Shannon Sharp has been trying to fight these gay accusations for the longest, well, at least for this year. Because it's really been Shannon Sharp's year from a content standpoint. After that Cat Williams interview, he's essentially established himself as one of the top, if not the top individual in this content game. And since that whole ascend, something that he's been battling that he just hasn't been able to shake is these gay accusations of him and his stylish, his stylist laying down and spooning and cuddling and X, Y, Z, you can fill in the blank. He has not been able to beat those allegations. So it's just ever so convenient that you could kill so many birds with one stone or with one alleged Instagram live accident, quote unquote. Do you know how much effort it takes to accidentally go live on Instagram? Do you know how much effort it takes to accidentally click five different buttons in order for you to go live on Instagram? On top of that, how many people do you know that just have their phone lying around unlocked? Not very many people. I don't know how Shannon Sharp be moving. Maybe he just leaves his phone unlocked. Maybe it accidentally was unlocked and during the whatever happened, the rustle and tussle, maybe some buttons got pressed on accident and then he ended up going live. But as a result, what happened? His merch sold out. So all of his merch sold out. They did an emergency podcast. I seen this. It popped up on my home screen. They did an emergency podcast the night that it happened. Him and Ocho has 1.7 million views. When I saw this podcast live, and I didn't watch it, but I seen it pop up on my home screen. Y'all, they had 250,000 people watching live. That is absolutely insane. That is potentially tens of thousands of dollars 
just from the live ad revenue alone. That is absolutely insane. That's like presidential debate numbers. Some of these live streams for the presidential for the presidential debate was not even touching six figures. That is absolutely insane. On top of that, what they do? They double down again. They double down the next day and they did an entire roast of Shannon Sharp. Now, it didn't do as well as the initial podcast, but it still got 830,000 views, which is significantly more than any of their other previous live streams that they've done by at least two to three times. So they did a roast of Shannon Sharp. They had Snoop Dogg. They had Kai Sinat. They had Cam Newton. They had Godfrey. They had all these people lined up, so conveniently lined up to do this roast, to generate more ad revenue from this quote unquote accident. There's no way that that was an authentic moment that took place that was legitimately an accident when you made hundreds of thousands of dollars between your merch selling out, between the increased exposure to all of your channels and all of your platforms, between the live streams that you were doing, between the extra content. And on top of that, do y'all understand that one of the primary sponsors for Shannon Sharp's podcast is a male enhancement pill? One of his primary sponsors for his podcast is a male enhancement pill. Do y'all not get that? This is the perfect, the absolute perfect promotion opportunity, especially when your number one or one of your top sponsors, I'm not going to say number one because he's got some pretty big sponsors. He's got like BMW and he's got some pretty massive sponsorships that are giving him millions of dollars a year. But one of his most relevant sponsors is a male enhancement pill. You don't think he got a big check after that video leaked, quote unquote? Come on now. He done took a whole page out of the Kim Kardashian playbook. And it's funny, not funny, but it's interesting because I don't even think he had to do any of this. As I said, this has already been Shannon Sharp's year strictly from a content standpoint. From a content standpoint, this has been Shannon Sharp's year. The content that he's produced, the amount of views, the amount of attention, the platform that he's been able to build in a short amount of time. Now, granted, he was already an A-list celebrity. He was already on ESPN. He had already been in the NFL. He already had a platform. But the way that he leveraged his existing platform to create this whole new media Empire has definitely been has definitely been historic. He didn't have to do this, but like I said, when you're strictly focused on how can you gain the most amount of subscribers, how can you get the most amount of views, how can you make the most amount of money, how can you, how can you increase the bottom line? When you're strictly focused on those things, all the morals go out the window and you just play the game. And I'll give it to him, he's been playing the game extraordinarily well and he's been profiting big off of it but does it really benefit people at the end of the day are you really giving them something of substance are you really leading people in the right direction are you really creating a lasting impact that is going to help people get closer to Jesus Christ because at the end of the day that's all that matters and Shannon Sharp, he's spoken about his faith before. He's spoken about Jesus. They've prayed before, him and Ocho. I don't know where they're at in terms of their faith. I don't know where they're at in terms of their relationship with Jesus Christ. But clearly, 
I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> I was going to say four, and then my mouth did some weird fart sound. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I passed out the other day in the bathroom, completely passed out, blacked out, hit my head on the sink. Um, yesterday I had a concussion. I still have a concussion, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm kind of out of it right now, but I'm still here. I'm still making these videos. I don't know what the the status of where they're at with God is, but bro, the things that they're doing in order to get to the top is 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 borderline selling out, if not already selling out. Y'all don't y'all y'all don't got to do all this. Y'all don't got to do all this. And hey, maybe it's authentic. Maybe this really actually happened. But I'm not buying it for not one second of this of 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 of, of this day of this week of this month of this. Day. I'm not I'm not I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments, like this video. Check out Patreon if you want to support. I'm out, y'all.